Would you believe there are classes to teach dogs how to behave like dogs? To actually learn behaviors that many of us think of as instinctive? Today, these owners and breeders from the Indiana Collie Club gathered to see if their dogs can pass the American Kennel Club's herding test. All right, what we're doing today, a little bit with the collies, we're just seeing if they had instinct tests to see if the, in the instinct is there, to see if they really want to work sheep. See how it gets out to get around him? Um, that's what we're looking for, especially new dogs. We just want to see if he's got the instinct to stay with them, then to move them, and to stay behind them. A dog with just the right mix of breeding and training can be worth its weight in gold. Recently, one sold for over ten thousand dollars. Now get between him and the sheep. Him, just block him. Stop. Wait. Just tell him stop. Good boy. What? Very good. <laughs> but it takes more than breeding, and not every dog is going home today with a certificate. Even with an experienced herder demonstrating how it's done, this little Sheltie is not interested. They have to be able to show interest in the, in the sheep. They have to be on the sheep. They also have to be able to change direction, and that's if they pass. And if they don't show interest or don't like it, then they don't get to pass. <laughs> yes, good. There you go. All right. Keeping a sharp eye on today's events is tester Nancy Wellen. She uses a long list of criteria to decide a dog's potential. At the top of that list is the dog's ability to keep the sheep with the handler. This little dog has a lot of potential for training. Um, a lot of enthusiasm, um, a lot of self-confidence because when uh, w one of the sheep stepped forward and stomped at him, he barked at it and bounced so the sheep would back off. Um, he's, he's got a lot of potential to be, he could be an all-round all farm dog very easily. But if she wanted to go beyond that and do trials with him, I think he's got potential for that too. Like many of the owners here today, Karen Weber may never use her dogs for herding. But I like to know that the instinct is in the dog, the dogs that I breed, and you know that they can do it if they needed to. Watching a well-trained working dog is a thing of beauty. Leah's six-year-old border collie, Loki, volunteered to wear a camera and give us a dog's eye view of the art of herding. If you just turn a, a, a young cattle dog or sheep dog, any kind of dog, out with sheep, then it becomes a chase. Um, then it can end up with slam sheep into the fence or hurt, or the dog's hurt, things like that. So you never want to put a young dog by itself. Uh, uh, oh, that's terrible. Come here. Betsy Sachs and her two-year-old cattle dog, Rev, have been working together for a year. Leah says it usually takes a couple years for a dog to get this good. If you want to find out if your dog has the instincts and the ability to become a working dog, Leah says, look to the internet. Many breed clubs offer instinct testing, as does the AKC. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer. Good job.